black knob is the throttle response control. This controls my smoke. The smoke control, EGT and max fueling control. Full set of gauges. Pyro, boost from the big S480, total boost. Okay, we're out doing our first few tests of our new in-cab fueling control unit. We don't know what to call it, so we're gonna have a contest. Whoever comes up with the best name gets a free unit. So think of some cool names for your fueling control on your old Dodge trucks. This red knob here that controls our total fueling, EGT control. We've got one on the passenger side here, a little black knob. This is our throttle response and smoke control knob. This truck makes about 650 horsepower. We're at high altitude. It's got a fairly large injector delivery valve set up where it's difficult to control the smoke, even with the compound turbos. Okay, we're pulling up the on-ramp now. The fuel is turned almost all the way down. Got my foot on the floor. Foot's on the floor. Okay, I'm gonna turn up the fuel right now. We're only about 20 pounds of boost. A little more fuel.
set the cruise control and just forget about the truck basically and focus on enjoying the trip. This weekend we're driving to Denver up over some high mountain passes towing our race trucks to the NHRDA event and I'm really excited to see how this setup runs where I can set the cruise control, take my foot off the throttle and drive every hill never worrying about the max EGT because I can adjust it down right here. Set my max fueling, still have plenty of power to exceed the speed limit if I want while towing. Have my smoke adjuster so that I don't have any smoke as we get up over 10,000 feet elevation. It's never going to smoke anywhere where I don't want it to. I can't wait to see what the fuel economy numbers are doing. I've been getting about 10 miles per gallon towing at about 85 miles an hour kind of fast. And I, I suspect we're going to pick up over a mile per gallon of fuel economy, just get rid of the, getting rid of the puffs of smoke. I'm a believer. I always thought your right foot was the best tool in the toolbox, and it's not. All this in-cab adjustability for about the same price as a standard fuel plate. We're still working on pricing, but this will hit the market very soon, and it looks like we're going to be right around the cost regular fuel plate. I mentioned these also work on first gens.